Next up, we are going to be installing the solid state drive, the 120 gigabyte Intel solid state drive that is. And uh, the reason why I got an Intel drive is because it came with a three year warranty, which is definitely uh, preferred over a zero year warranty, which I was getting with the uh, OCZ Vertex, I believe it was called, solid state drive. The only downside is there is a little bit less storage and exactly eight gigs less. Uh, it's a 120 gig, not a 128 gig, which I think I could be fine with. This is mainly just going to hold the operating system, Windows 7 that is, and uh, probably going to be holding the, uh, hmm, one second, I'm going to have to get this out. So yeah, this is going to be holding my applications in the operating system, that's what I meant to say. And uh, now that we got it out here, there's the drive, attention, observe precautions, handling electronic sensitive devices, no duh. And there's a Speed Demon Solid State Drive sticker. Interesting. And it looks like there's manual. Manuel. Talking about a sled. Uh, some video. Video CD, rather. And oh, there is a sled in here. I actually do not need this. There are mounting screws, a sled, and it looks like a Molex adapter there and a SATA cable a lot of stuff I don't need and mounting screws I do not need mounting screws either I don't even need this stuff with this plastic they really make this difficult to open I'm gonna have to rip this sorry if the camera angle sucks but I don't want to pause again okay and now we are taking out taking out the solid state drive. So there it is. 120 gigabyte Intel SSD 330 series. It's metal, it's shiny, it's kind of cold, and it's very dirty on the back. Uh, it's kind of annoying. And uh, looks like there's screws on the sides. So what we're going to do, we're going to come over to the case here. We're going to pull out one of these sleds that came with it. And there should be a way for me to mount this into here. Hmm. Try to look around. To see what I could do here. Maybe just... See, now if you look at it, on the side here, there are four screws, and this is for a solid-state drive, I think. But I might be mistaken. Bear with me. Okay, so we installed it into the black sled. I literally put one screw in. I don't care. I don't. I only need one screw. I mean, it's, it's secure enough. It's in the sled. And now we're going to put it into the sled holster, like so. And now, that's nice and secure in there. Not really. Um, we're going to be flipping it over so we can get into the back there and get the wiring going. So we're going to do that in an in, in Yeah, we're in the back now. And we're going to get the SATA cable going through into the motherboard. So we're going to try to do these twist ties. I love these twist ties. Doing them with one hand is so much fun. Um, almost got it. This isn't a big one, so I think it is pretty. Shit. <laughs> this is pretty awful. All right, almost got it, almost did it. All right, so this is a pretty short SATA cable, but it should reach. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this SATA, put it into there. Oops, wrong direction, it just goes right in there on the shorter prong, snaps in. And then this, these tubes here go through to the motherboard. They, they break on through to the other side, as Jim Morrison would say. And now the power, I actually have to root through again. So all we got to do is flip this over. There we go. Got it flipped over. Here's the SATA. The white plugs in here on the motherboard are for the SATA 6.0 
gigabytes per second. So we'll put it in there. And then for power, uh, we'll just get one of these, another SATA connection. And we'll just flip this over again and we'll just ram this in the rear right here. So we're going to tax the power supply some more. Because we're going to have to have any, we're going to have to have a load of hard drives back there anyway. So why not? Why not just do it? And we'll just, as Nike said, just do it. And we'll just get on the side here. There it is peeking through. And we'll just pull it through like, okay. It's a little scary just pulling shit like that, but we will connect this into there. Into the solid state. Bam, it's in. So now we have more of this cable. I'll just stick it in one of those sleds for when I get my terabyte, two terabyte drive which is going to be used for um, the, uh, the data on the drive. So we're going to go ahead, maybe boot this up, and see if anything else happens. All right.